I'm Brendan Bachman, Applied Research Marketing Manager with Growmark. We're here today with Nathan, and we're out looking at some different MyField Applied Research trials. The one here today is Quick Roots from Monsanto BioAg, and we're trying to figure out some visual differences in root mass and structure. So we went out and we've identified where the break was at. Yes, they, what they did was they took a decalb hybrid and we treated 16 bags with quick roots and then we took that identical hybrid and do not have any quick roots application on it and they split the planter and then basically planted 32 bags worth of product across this 120 acre field. Yeah, so we've got a really nice side by side all the way across this field. It really looks like we're, we're probably a little bit late getting out here to compare the differences but we're going to wash some roots and really see what this quick roots product is doing from a root mass structure. What we've got after we've spent probably 30 40 minutes soaking these roots yeah. and 20 gallons of water later. Definitely some tight soil. <laughs> very very good soil but as you can tell there's some significant differences here the root mass on the non-treated uh, plant here you could tell the diameter of the roots they're a lot thinner than the roots on the treated part our roots are not as dense and the hairs are less dense as well right and that's what i'm seeing there too nathan i mean the overall length and mass of that root structure is really proven well for the quick roots product early we talked a little bit about the environment and it makes sense that a product that helps release phosphorus especially with the cool wet conditions we went through would be showing some signs of inherent root mass development the other thing that's interesting and we kind of just sitting here talking about is looking above ground there's not much visual difference in the height so to the naked eye we actually had to use climate field view maps to find the line Yes. So there wasn't much of a visual above ground. One thing we did notice is a little bit bigger stock diameter. We are showing signs of luxury consumption early with this sucker already coming off that plant. So as we progress, we would hope to, with this jump start on a root mass, be able to grab some more nitrogen, maybe come out of this wet period a little bit stronger, and hopefully put on some bushels at the end of the season. I agree. With the, just to not sound like a broken record, but just like you were stating, the more roots, the more fibrous hairs, the more mm -hmm. root mass, you can just assume that the plant, and it's showing it physically up top yep. due to the consumption of the nutrients in the soil. Yep, and we actually had a heck of a time. It probably took us twice as long to get the soil off of the quick roots treated because all those fibrous roots really had that locked in there very, very well. You can see, I don't know if you can pick it up in the video, but we do have longer roots there's more roots and one thing we wanted to show here too is we took off a ton, a ton of roots yeah. trying to get this thing dislodged yeah and not just little feeder roots I mean there were some long hair roots that we actually pruned in that whole process so it is visually stimulating as this is I would say you know we took off a fair amount in the process as well so um, you know, moving forward it looks good now and we'll continue to kind of watch this trial and with the field view platform, it's going to tell us as soon as we get done shelling that what, what it actually did. Yep. And I think we'll be able to overlay the planting map in here too, so we'll have a good visual too, yep. you know, on how the grower split the planter on the whole scope of the field. So we'll also have some checks outside exactly. of the treatment area too, just to see if there is any more variation. Exactly. It's a, it's a good trial. We appreciate Christian County putting it on, and we'll see, uh, see how the year progresses.